Hello, 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 hello. Okay, so, gosh, this seems a little shadowy. There, maybe that's better. Hello, everyone. Happy Christmas in July. Um, okay, so I know this is um, not necessarily a time when everyone can watch, but it worked out for me. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you all about the month we're going to have to not today, or I'm going to tell you today about the month we're going to have. Um, so as a customer appreciation, I thought we'd just kind of celebrate um, the month of July, Christmas in July. And I have some new, exciting things to announce to you. I know I've been pretty quiet on this page for the last month or so, and um, I really just, I needed to do all of that for several reasons, but um, I just kind of, um, I was really busy in my, in my regular job, and I had a lot of things going on there, but at the same time, I also just kind of felt like I needed to take a step back um, away from my computer, away from social media, so I wasn't very active on my personal account either. Um, so, hey, hi, Heidi, glad you're joining us. Um, so I wasn't very active on my personal account either. Um, I wasn't active really on Instagram. So I honestly just took about a month long break and it was, it was really kind of nice. So if you've never taken a social media break, um, I kind of encourage you to do so because it kind of just freed up some time and, um, got me away from feeling like I had to comment on everybody's posts. And, and it's not that I don't care what people are posting. That's not it at all. It's just that it almost became like an obligation. Like if I don't comment, um, they're gonna think I don't care. And I don't think that. Um, when I post something personally, I don't like look through there and think, oh, so-and-so didn't comment or so-and-so didn't like. I mean, I, that's the furthest thing from my mind. But my own internal guilt about other people's posts was, was like, oh my gosh, I got to comment on this or I got to comment on that. Um, or they're going to think I'm not paying attention or they're going to think that I don't care about them. And that's not it at all. So I love, 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 love Facebook and Instagram for keeping up with people. I love it that it's allowed me to stay in contact with a lot of friends and family, um, especially since I moved up here to Kansas City. Um, but I need to not get obsessed with it, um, I guess is my message there, is um, if I don't comment on all of your posts, it's not that I don't care, it's just that I might not have even looked at my social media um, that day. So anyway, that's kind of my explanation. And oh yes, my fun little earrings. So I thought I'd go all beachy today with my little earrings and my shirt because this is July. I'm not taking a beach vacation, but I wish I was. So I'm just going to kind of live uh, here in Kansas City and pretend I'm at the beach. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how this Christmas in July is going to work. At the same time, I'm going to be just doing um, some eyeshadow. Um, I've already put on the rest of my makeup. So I wanted to kind of tell you the first piece of exciting news is that there are brand new eyeshadow colors ah! brand new eyeshadow colors being released by saint 12 new colors um and they are gorgeous and i can't wait for you to see them and so i'm going to be doing tutorials all month to kind of highlight some of those colors so you can get an idea of which ones you want to grab so they're going to be released july 20th so july 20th that's a date you need to put on your calendar because Saint is having a huge customer appreciation bash on July 20th. So they've got a lot of um, promotions that are going to be going on. So some gifts with purchase, um, some parties, uh, giveaways, fun games. It's all going to be happening over on the Saint um, Instagram page. So I'll link all the details on this page in another post, but just know, mark July 20th on your calendar. Um, and then those new eyeshadows that I just 
told you about are also going to be released on that day. So I have a feeling they are going to go really fast. So pay attention all month um, as I kind of highlight some of the colors so you can start to decide which ones do you want to grab. And then on July 20th, be ready and get your orders placed so you don't miss out. So um, let me show you what uh, the colors look like. So um, so a backstory on the colors is in um, November, Black Friday, they had what was called an eyeshadow advent calendar. And so it had 25 eyeshadows that had never been released before. And you could buy the advent calendar and get all 25 colors. And you could have fun in the month of December opening up a window each day. Um, so I got the advent calendar and I'm so excited because it fell, it sold out really, really fast. So I got the advent calendar and before December 1st came around, I also got COVID. And so I did not feel good at all the first half of December. And so I, I, I didn't even open up any of the windows. Like I felt that bad. Like I just wasn't interested and I had planned to share it with everybody and then it just didn't happen. And so, you know, a couple weeks went by and then I was feeling better, but then I thought, well, why bring it up now? Um, and I had a lot to get caught up to get ready for Christmas. So I've never shown you guys any of these colors. Um, and so I have them. Um, what Saint, did is they kind of listened to some of the customer feedback and people loved these colors so much that others were looking at other people's posts and saying, when can we get these colors? And so they decided to release 12 of the colors. So not all 25, but they are releasing 12 of the advent calendar colors. So they all had Christmassy names. Um, but they've renamed them. I don't even know what the names are. They're going to release the new names on July 20th. Um, but uh, so these are the matte colors. And so these are not included in the new release, but all of these on this side are. And there's uh, another color that I'm missing right now um, that my niece borrowed from me. So she borrowed a couple of these colors from me because... She's doing, uh, she's a bridesmaid in a wedding this weekend, and we created a really gorgeous look for her, and so she, she grabbed a couple of these since they're not for sale yet. But these are the matte colors. Aren't they so pretty? And you can see some of them are, you know, I had to fix some of them because they broke. That's why they look that way, but they are gorgeous. And then there's um, four shimmers. So these are all the shimmers. None of these are included, so it's just these three over here. And then there's one more that's a gold shimmer that my niece also borrowed. So these are so pretty. I can't wait to show you um, what, what they're gonna look like on. And I honestly haven't even played around with them very much because they weren't for sale yet. So I'm gonna have fun experimenting too. So I'm gonna kind of create a look today using just three of the colors and I'll always drop down what colors I'm using um, in the comments or on a, another post and yeah so um, as I'm doing that I'll also kind of talk about the month that we're going to have here in our party so the first color I'm going to use is this one right here, it's a really pretty base color, so it's called Chestnut. So it's really, really light and subtle and pretty, and um, I have been using that one quite a bit, and I just love it. So I'm taking the fluffy end of my eyeshadow brush, and we're just gonna put that all over the lid, kind of up here in this windshield wiper motion, and I just kind of drag it across the lid too. So in this month, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial that's gonna feature these eyeshadows and some other things as well every week. So 
it probably won't be the same day every week because it'll really just depend on my schedule. Um, so this one definitely counts as one of the live tutorials. And then I'll probably do another one this week as well because we're just kind of getting kicked off. But then after that, it'll probably just be one a week. Um, but I'm gonna be doing some giveaways of these new eyeshadows. And in order to qualify for the giveaway, or to earn points for the giveaway, I just want you to watch the videos. So I want you to watch them and interact with them. So always, when you're watching live, make sure you put a comment that you're here, say hi, I'm watching live. Or if you watch the video later, put hashtag replay in the comments so that I know that you watched it. And so that earns you a point for the eyeshadow giveaway easy peasy like not asking you to buy anything i'm just asking you to watch the videos mostly because i really want you to see these new colors and see how pretty they are so you see how that one's just a really nice pretty brown it's called chestnut it'll have a new name um, when it's released january Jan, or uh, july 20th not july january 20th okay the second thing um, to be entered in for the eyeshadow giveaways is I'm going to post an engagement post each week. Just one. Um, because let's face it, we're all busy. I just told you about how I was kind of stepping away, taking a little bit of a break from social media. And I think a lot of us are in the summertime. So we're outside more. We're not on our computers or our phones as much. We've got ball games to go to, uh, summer vacation, just spending time outside and enjoying um, the break. Um, so many of my customers are educators or former educators, so I know you really are enjoying your time off and everyone's busy. So I'm not gonna be posting a ton of stuff every single day that I'm gonna ask you to interact with. But I will have an engagement post and it will be labeled engagement post number one, engagement post number two, number three and number four. So there's only gonna be four of them, one each week. So all I ask is that you engage with that engagement post. So whatever it is, it'll be something fun, some little games and some fun stuff to learn more about each other. So, um, so how do you enter for the eyeshadow? Two ways, um, watch the tutorial, either live or hashtag replay and interact with the engagement posts. That's it. So one tutorial a week, one engagement a week. Easy peasy. I don't want you on your phones all day. I'm not gonna be on my phone all day. So that's so simple. I keep putting on my glasses because again, you know, I have to, to read. Hi, Erin. I am so happy you are loving the makeup. So, so happy. Oh my gosh, this is, you, you just made my day. Okay, all right, so I put on that color. The next color I'm gonna do is this one. And so uh, it, this one right here is kind of a grayish green. Um, it's called Evergreen is the Christmas name. So there'll be a new name for that. So I'm gonna put it on. And this is really, I'm just going to, I'm kind of going just for a natural look. And for this one, I'm gonna just put it here in the darkest, or darken that outer corner of my eye. And it, it really is, so many people have asked me for a gray eyeshadow. They're like, I want a gray eyeshadow. Do you have any grays? And we really haven't had a gray before. But this evergreen is pretty close to gray. Like I said, it's kind of, it's got a green undertone to it, but not a bright green at all. Like you have to really look at it to see that it's green. Um, and so it's, it's just really, really pretty. So I'm just kind of doing that here in that outer third of my eye. So this isn't a really bright look. I'll be getting into some of the brighter colors later this week and month, but yeah. 
I'm gonna go in with that chestnut again and just kind of lighten up right there. Okay, so simple. And then we're gonna add a little shimmer. And the shimmer I'm using is um, this one. Ooh, so pretty. It's called Frankincense, which obviously was the Christmas name. Um, but I don't know what the new name's gonna be, but it'll have a new name. But Frankincense was the Christmassy name. And so for that, I'm gonna use the um, multitasker brush because I like to use that flat end. You can also just use your finger. So I'll just kind of show you. If I use the finger, um, you just get some on your finger and it just, it doesn't go on quite as, as um, concentrated in color. So that's why I like to use the multitasker brush. And then I just tap it on. And since this has a little bit of a shimmer to it, you wanna put that kind of here in this inner third of the eye. So we've brightened up that inner corner of the eye. And again, I'm not going for a dramatic look. This isn't for a nighttime look. This is just a really pretty daytime look. If I wanted this to be more dramatic, I could um, prime my lid with some, um, like my brightening highlight is a good one, is a good way to kind of prime your lid and get these shimmers to really pop. But I'm not doing that tonight. I'll probably go for some glam looks later this month, though, because you all know I like the glam. So I love this frankincense color because it's just so subtle. Um, we have a color called Unicorn in our regular line that is very similar, except this um, frankincense is just a little bit warmer color than the Unicorn. Um, unicorn is like a pure white. And this frankincense has a little bit of beige or tan tint to it. It's really pretty. Kind of reminds me of Glamazing too. So that's really just it. I'm just doing three colors today. And like I said, I'll write them down so you remember. But um, I used the chestnut all over and then I did evergreen on the outer corner and then I did frankincense on the inner third. So that's it, that's, that's all. Um, I'm gonna probably go under my eye, forgot to do that, with uh, the evergreen. And I'm just gonna go under it as my eyeliner. You definitely don't even have to do that. If you're really just going for a summery look, you could skip the eyeliner. Just put a little bit under there, and yeah, okay. So back to our little party that's gonna be going on. I'm also doing like a grand prize. So the eyeshadows, I'll give one of those away each week. Um, you won't be able to order them until they're released on July 20th, or I'll, I'll order it for you, whatever color you want. So you'll get to pick the one you want and I will send it to your house, so one a week. So and you can only win one, so yeah. We wanna spread the love. So one eyeshadow a week. If you win the first week, I want you, you know, you won't win the other weeks, I'm just saying. Um, and then the grand prize is gonna be this fun little um, 
Summer Glow Kit that I've been playing around with. So that's what I use today on my face. So the Summer Glow Kit is, is this. Um, you don't need a color match for this. So this, this is a universal color hack system that will work on anybody's skin tone. I was skeptical. I was like, uh-uh, it's not gonna work on me, but I think it did. I mean, this is not my full hack where I color corrected everything, but I feel like the look this gave me is that I look like I've been out in the sun and got just the right parts of my face kissed by the sun. Um, and I really didn't do any color correcting, so none at all. I just used these four colors. So this is called our Summer Glow Kit. Anybody can order this without a color match. And I will be demonstrating how to apply this Summer Glow Kit um, at a tutorial later this month. But it comes with um, the Sunlit Highlight, um, this, I used Hollywood Lip and Cheek. You can use any Lip and Cheek. I've been kind of playing around with different colors. Every color I've used so far has looked really pretty. So this Hollywood has looked great. That's what I'm wearing today. Um, I've also used Tropicana. You know I love that. Um, I used, um, I used Saffron the other day. Oh my gosh, it was so pretty. So really, any Lip and Cheek. Um, and then the glow, the summer glow comes when we mix Bella Bronzer and Glow Illuminator. So I'm going to show you how to mix all that together, and I'm going to show you where to apply each of the steps to kind of get this sun-kissed glow. This is minimalism at its best, ladies. I mean, four products, um, just, you know, a brush and you're good to go out the door. I didn't contour, I didn't color correct, I just used those four colors. So we're gonna go and we're gonna have a fun tutorial about that. But the grand prize is that you will win the Summer Glow Kit along with a compact. Um, if you are a returning customer, cause you probably already have your hat colors. So I'm guessing you'll want this Summer Glow Kit um, but if you are a brand new customer and you've never even purchased your hack, I the grand prize for you, if your name is drawn, would be um, the four colors to your hack or the Summer Glow Kit if you just want to use that. So how do you enter for the grand prize, you ask? Okay, here's how you enter for the grand prize. Um, it is not tied to the ash, eyeshadow giveaways. So if you win an eyeshadow, you are still eligible for the grand prize. So the grand prize is really about growing my group and getting ladies introduced to this amazing makeup. So all of us who are current users, we love it. We can't get enough of it. And I know that many of us have had friends and family say, you look amazing. What are you doing? Um, and I get that all the time. And literally it's, it's makeup, I just tell people like, thank you so much, um, but I'm using amazing makeup and you should try it because it's a game changer. Um, so I know many of you have told me you've had people compliment you as well. Um, I've had ladies reach out to me and say, my husband complimented me for the first time. He never compliments me on my makeup. So I know this makeup is amazing and I just want more people to be introduced to it. So the grand prize is really tied to that. It's about getting new ladies into the group. So if you are already in this group, invite some of your friends or your family and tell them, just check out Jody's group and she's gonna be showing us some great ways to use this makeup this month. So as invite them to the group. They need to accept the invitation and join the group. And then I want them to Stay in the group for the entire month so that they have a chance to learn everything. So it's not going to count if they join one day and then pop back out the next. Um, so join the group, stay in the group. So invite your friends to join the group, stay in the group at least till the end of July because I really think by the end of July they'll be like, okay, I need to try this. So 
So that's one way um, is add a member and get them to stay till the end of July. So that would be one point to the um, grand prize. If you are that new person that joined, you get a new you get a point also for joining and staying in the group till the end of the month. So both of you get one point for joining and staying. And then the second point you might be able to earn is that new person that just joined the group if they submit a color match. So I'll be linking in a color match form. If they submit a color match form and let me customize their colors for them and send them what I would recommend, then that new customer gets a point just for submitting the color match. They don't have to buy. They just, just let me give you your colors. And then if your new friend that joined the group does that and submits their color match, you as the existing customer also get a point for that new color match. So join the group, stay in the group, and that's one point. Submit a color match, both of you get a point for that. If you've been a lingering person in the group, um, and I know I have a bunch of those ladies that have kind of been lingering in the group, and has not ever submitted their color match form, if you submit a color match form as a brand new, like, I think I'm ready now, I've been lurking in this group for a couple months and I think I'm ready now, then you would also get a point for that, new, for that color match. So every new color match gets a point, every new member that you invite and that stays till the end of June also gets a point. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so those, you know, growing the group and getting people to submit their color match is really kind of what that grand prize is tied to. And the grand prize will be a small compact with four colors in it. So it can be the summer glow kit or it can be your regular hack colors. So whichever you choose. Um, so I think that's it. Um, I'll put together a post that details all of this again later, but um, just remember, tune in, um, pop into your social media, and especially this group, a couple times a week, which is all I'm going to do too. So we all need to be outside. We all need to be enjoying the summer. So all you have to do, remember, is to watch the tutorials and interact with the engagement posts. The first engagement post is going to drop tonight, so make sure that you look for it either tonight or later this week, but that will be the only engagement post for this week. So I hope that all made sense, um, and that's all. That's all. Okay. Um, thanks for joining me, and remember, if you weren't able to watch it live, put hashtag replay when you watch it later, and I can't wait to do some more eyeshadow looks with these brand new colors, um, and yeah, we're just going to have a good month, so thanks for joining me. Bye. Okay. I'm not hitting the button. I gotta get my glasses on.